Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and in this video, I'll explain everything you need to know to set up and use the Live Preview add-on with our WooCommerce Product Options plugin. If you just purchased the bundle with the two plugins together, or if you're thinking about adding Live Preview to your site, then this can serve as your complete guide to getting the most out of the plugin. We'll cover how to set up both image uploads and text customizations with Live Preview, including how to configure printable areas for different types of products, and I'll share some pro tips for creating the best customer experience. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to offer professional product customization that can rival even big print-on-demand websites. So let's jump right in and get your Live Preview set up. First things first, Live Preview is actually an add-on to our WooCommerce Product Options plugin. So you'll need to have both of these plugins installed in order for Live Preview to work. If you purchase the bundle, Live Preview installs automatically when you activate Product Options. If you're upgrading from Product Options, you'll see a dashboard notice prompting you to install the add-on. Just click that button, go through the upgrade steps, and you'll be good to go. Now, once both plugins are installed and activated, you'll find the main settings at Products and Product Options. And then you can click on the Settings tab here. And from here, we can quickly set up some global options. For example, we can edit the text on the Customize button. For now, it says Customize, but perhaps you'd like to say something like Preview and Edit. You can also edit the preview label, and you can add your Google Fonts API key in order to add a bunch of available custom fonts from the web. This is useful for the text preview in particular. And keep in mind, these labels can be further edited depending on the individual option group. Let's begin with image uploads, as that's what most stores need. I'll use a custom t-shirt as my example. From here, we can go back to the Product Options tab, and then we can click on Add New or Add Group to create a new one. I'm gonna call this one T-Shirt Customization. You can even display this, but it's not necessary. Now, I'll quickly add this to a specific category or product, and that will be my T-Shirt product that I created earlier. Custom Printed White T-Shirt. You can even search for categories of products as well, or you can exclude certain products in case you are using the display globally on all products option. Now that we've done that, we can come down here and click on add option. Because we want an image upload, we're going to use the file upload option and we're going to specify it for specific images. We do need to give this option group a name. So let's call it the photo preview. I'll just add live preview. So we know which one we're using here. Photo Live Preview. This will also be useful later when we're setting up printable areas. In the label section, I'm going to write something that's more instructive for the customer, like upload your image. And we can give it a cost of a flat fee, a quantity-based fee, so based on the number of images, or a percentage increase from the main product price. But we don't actually have to give it an additional price if we don't want to. I'm going to give it a flat fee of $5 for the custom printing. Now you'll notice here there is a checkbox to enable the live preview, and we want to make sure that this is checked anytime we want live preview to be integrated with this option type. Now it seems that earlier I forgot to save my settings, so this preview button is still set to the word customize. I'm going to say edit and preview. Now it's also a good idea to add a description for the sake of your customers so they understand what it is that they're supposed to do. I'll write a little bit of instruction for them and jump to the next step. If you're going to require the customer to add an image to this product before purchasing, you can check this box here and then click on Save Changes. But we're not quite done. Let's scroll down, click on Edit Option, scroll down again, and click on Advanced Settings. Here we can set the maximum file size. Something like 10 megabytes is more than enough in most cases. And you can set the number of files limit to either one, but depending on your live preview setup, you might want more images, maybe up to three. I'll set that now and explain how that works later. Now, we don't want to include any file types that aren't images, so no docs, no PDFs, and no PowerPoints or Excel, but we do want to have JPEG, PNG, uh, WebP, and any other file type that you think is appropriate. But keep in mind that the live preview does only work with image file types. 
We can also create a conditional logic flow, but that's not really related to the live preview plugin. So I recommend learning about that in one of our other videos that I'll link in the cards right here. With all those settings in place, we can click save one more time and move on to the next steps. And now here's the crucial part, setting up where the customer's image can appear on your product. Okay, so for this step, you need to go into your media library and find the images associated with the product that you're adding live preview to. In this case, I've got these two t-shirt images here. Then I'll come down to this printable areas section in the bottom corner and click on set printable areas. Now here we have a preview of the image and we can add a printable area by clicking any of these shape buttons up here. I'll start with a basic rectangle shape. Now by clicking on the rectangle, I can then resize it and reposition it on the product image. If I don't like what I've made or I want to use a different shape, I can click the delete key and then I can choose a different shape. For example, the circle option. And finally, you can create a polygon of any shape by clicking and using your mouse to click and create any shape that you want. I'm gonna stick with a basic rectangle option here and I'm gonna bring it up to the top of the t-shirt. Now, there are a bunch of additional options here and they may be useful for you in certain situations, but if you don't select any of these boxes for now, that's totally fine. But basically under this content settings, if you disable something like resizing or rotating, then in the preview, the customer won't be able to change the orientation of their image within that live preview setting. Now, here is a pretty important step though. You do need to click on this linked options and you need to find the option group that we just created. So this was the photo live preview. That's the one I just set up and then click on apply. Now, if you have other images as part of your product, it's a good idea to also set up their principal areas at this time as well. Now, if you're going to be applying the same principal area to multiple products, you can click on this copy areas, go to a new product and click on paste areas to apply the principal area to that product as well. So I'm going to do the same and set up a principal area on the back of this shirt. And my final tip is if you are going to be using this principal area on your variation images, if you have a variable product, you can check this box as well but that's not really relevant for this part of the video. Now for the back of this t-shirt, I can set up a linked option, but I haven't actually set up a new upload field specific for this one. So I'm just going to leave this blank at the moment and I'll show you how to set this up at the end of the video. Now let's do a really quick check and make sure that everything is working as intended on our custom printed white t-shirt. So we'll click on select options. And when I visit this particular product, I can see that I have my t-shirt customization option group set up and it does show the photo live preview label as well as the $5 surcharge. And then I can click on uh, the upload field and find an image to add to it. This is our little barn two logo. So as a customer, I can click on this image. I can even rotate it, resize it, double click to make it go back to the center. And in general, as a customer, I have the freedom to move this around and check how it will look. I like it taking up the full frame there. I can click on apply. And immediately I can see a preview of how my image will look on the t-shirt. With that added, we have our total charge of $30 and I can add this to basket. So everything's working right now. Let's move on to the next step. Now we can move on to text customization and previews. Perfect for adding individual names, messages, or company slogans. So let's go to the product options settings in the main tab here. Scroll down to our options group that we're setting up, click on edit, and in this, section, I'm going to click on add option. And this option is going to be a text input, but a slightly better option is actually the paragraph input because that allows us to write text on multiple lines instead of just a single line. I'm going to call this one t-shirt text and I'll give it a label. And we can even add a character count fee if we want to, where we can price this per character. 
So we could add, say, 50 cents to the price for every character written on the t-shirt. Of course, we want to enable this for live preview. And the customize button, we could say something like edit text. Once again, add a clear description for your customers so they know what to do. And click on save changes. We have to do this first, otherwise the advanced settings doesn't uh, work right away. Here we can set character limits. So you may not need to set a minimum limit, but a maximum of 30 characters is probably a good idea, something like this. Otherwise, people could write an entire book and you wouldn't be able to print it on the t-shirt. Finally, click on Save Changes. So now we can go ahead and see what this all looks like from the perspective of a customer. And let's go back to the custom product and refresh the page to see what's updated. All right, so here we have the t-shirt text and I can add some t-shirt text like this and click on Edit Text. And I can't add the text to this front image because I didn't link the text input field to the printable area. I only linked the upload field for the image. But on the back here, because I didn't set any specific option group to this printable area, I can add the text to the back of this page. Now, let's play around with this a little bit. Let's edit the text, find something a little bit more interesting. Montserrat is usually a nice font. And then let's play around with the color, something a little bit more barn 2-ish, somewhere around here. We can also center up the text, which looks a lot nicer. Change the fonts so it fits a little bit better. Make sure it's centered up. And I think that's already looking quite a bit better. Remember, this is just a preview, and this is not exactly what will be printed on the shirt, depending on the vendor. But in any case, we can click on apply here and we can see a preview of that text. So everything's working quite well. Once again, if I add this image to the front of the t-shirt and click on apply, now we can get a live preview of the front with the image and the back with the text. Then when we click on add to basket, we can view the basket and see a preview of the images and text that we've uploaded. And if I click on the preview, we can see each of these images in a light box. Let me show you now some more interesting ways that you can use this plugin. Now, something I didn't talk about earlier is that you can actually set multiple printable areas on a single image. So let's say I wanted to add a second little rectangle, but make this one a lot smaller and put it at the top of the shirt here, maybe over to one side. And this could be good for a logo. So somebody who is adding a custom t-shirt design, maybe they want to put a logo in this box and then they want to put some text or some image in this other box. Then we can make this possible by setting up two printable areas. But keep in mind that each printable area will either need to be linked to a certain option or you can leave it open and just have the option available with multiple images. So at the moment, the option group linked, I'm going to actually link it to the same one, the photo live preview, click on apply. And when I go back to my product, I can click and upload multiple images. So let's bring up the, let's bring up one and a second image as well. Now I can edit the images in live preview and I can bring this photo here, delete this one and put the logo in the top corner. So now I have this nice uh, t-shirt design here that uh, my friend made for me, and I have the logo of the company in the top corner. So we can actually have two images added to the same product like that. Then if this t-shirt were to come in multiple colors, and I wanted the same printable area for all of the different color options within the same product, I could click on this button here to use for variation images, and that will save me a lot of time setting up the printable areas and linking the options type for all of those different printable areas. Now, I just want to clarify that if you want to be more specific about which upload field is for the front of the t-shirt and which upload field is for the back of the t-shirt, you can do so in the product options setup. So this photo live preview 
could be set up for the front of the t-shirt. Photo live preview front. Meanwhile, this t-shirt text could be for the back of the t-shirt only. Then I can click on save those changes. Quickly go back to my media library and edit this printable area on the back of the t-shirt and link this printable area only to the text upload for the back. Click on apply and make sure that these ones are linked to the front for the front of the shirt and then click on apply. Now we're set up so that the printable areas on the front of the shirt are linked to the upload field, which is specifying for the front and the printable area or text area on the back of the shirt is linked to the upload field or text input for the back only. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but it's helpful for the customers to know which image they're uploading for which side of the product. So if I refresh this page again, we can see the photo live preview front and the t-shirt text back. And now let's cover some quick tips to keep everything looking professional right from the get-go. Some final little pro tips I have for you is to make sure that you use your description to clarify any specifics that you need for things like images. For example, if you need at least 300 DPI, then it's a good idea to add that into your description so it clarifies it for the customer. And if you want to avoid having overlapping images, then you need to tick this box here to allow only one image per area. For the custom text option, it's a good idea to add the character limit into your label. So you could say max 30 characters. It's also a good idea to curate the list of fonts that are available just to keep it in line with your printing abilities as well as not to overwhelm the customer too much. Let me quickly address some of the most common questions we get about the plugin. So why doesn't the preview auto open? Well, the plugin is smart and when it has multiple preview fields, it waits until the last one is filled to avoid any annoying pop-ups. So customers can always click on the preview or edit option to be able to edit what they've added before uploading everything. Now, why aren't preview images showing in cart blocks? Well, currently these preview images work with standard WooCommerce cart and checkout pages, but the new block-based layouts don't support this yet. So stick with the classic pages for now, if you can. Now, can you customize this preview window? Yes, in fact, there are developer filters for changing the canvas size, image quality, upscaling factors, and more. You can check our knowledge base for the full list. And that's your complete guide to WooCommerce Live Preview. Remember, this plugin is in active development and we're constantly adding new features based on feedback from people like you. If you wanna share your own feature request, you can do so through our support center linked in the description below. And if you found this helpful, check out our complete guide video to WooCommerce product options, or click on this link to test out a free demo of Live Preview for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.